Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're good. It's day three of Under the Sea Holiday Club. I've been having loads of fun, don't know about you, but I've been learning all the songs and I can't wait to see you guys. Hopefully, after the summer when lockdowns ease, we can get back together and maybe even before we go back to school, we can catch up for a barbecue and do some of the songs, but I'll tell you about that later on in the week on Friday. And there's also information for your parents all about that in your booklet. Today our story is called The Prodigal Son and I didn't really know what that meant so I grabbed my Bible and I gave it a read. It's about two sons and one of them wasn't very nice to his dad and did some naughty things but uh, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Uh, we've got some crafts for you guys doing the crafts and we've got an amazing code that took me about 20 minutes to crack to get the answer and that's in your brochure so maybe you'll need to look in your brochure and your booklet later on and see if you can crack that code quicker than me so let's get up off the off your off your seats stand up loosen your bodies and get ready and we're going to do some songs so i'll see you in a little while bye
shine It's got the for me Oh, oh wherever I go God is with me every day When I wake up He's with me every day When I play God is with me every day When I obey He's with me every day When I sing So I never have to be afraid God is with me yeah. When I'm super sad and grumpy Or I'm happy as can be Jesus is my best friend He's always there for me oh. It's got the for me Hi guys, how you doing? Today's story is called The Prodigal Son. As I mentioned at the start, I didn't really know what that quite meant. So let me tell you this story. There were two sons and one of the sons decided that he wanted to leave home, but he couldn't afford it. So he said to his dad, can he have his half of the inheritance? Inheritance is what you get when your parents pass away and die then you maybe get their house and you get some money. So this son said to his dad, could he have his inheritance before his dad was dead? It was like saying, dad, I wish you were dead. It was really, really bad and really, really upsetting for everybody. But the dad said, all right. And he gave his son all the money. And his son left, the, left where they lived and went off. And he went to the city. And when he got to the city, we find out that he spent that money very quickly. He had lots of parties. He made lots and lots of friends very quickly. He lived in a really nice place. But soon that money ran out. And when that money ran out, those people who had been his friends stopped being his friends. And he got himself into such a problem that he had to go and get a job with a man who owned a pig farm. And for somebody who was Jewish to work with pigs was a really, really, really bad thing to do. The worst possible job there is in the world. But this man worked with the pigs and he was so poor that he would find himself eating the food out of the pig's trough. The food that was meant for the pigs, he would eat himself. And he sat there one day and he realized, what have I done? I can't really go back to my dad because I pretty much said that I wish my dad was dead. But maybe if I go back to my dad and I say to my dad, I'm sorry, my dad would take me on as one of his servants and I could be a servant for my dad because my dad's servants were treated better than he was. So he did that. He went on that walk home.
And he got up onto a hill and his dad was outside the house and looked into the distance and saw his son. And the son saw him. And everyone would expect the dad to go, he, I don't want him back. He wished me dead. He doesn't need to come here. But no. The dad went back in the house and said, quick, go and get the biggest cow we've got. Get it cooked, put it on the barbecue. We're going to have a party. My son's here. Come on, tell everybody, tell all the town. Everyone come out. We're going to have a party. My son has come home. And the whole house was rejoicing. They were so happy. And they have planned and did a big, big party. And the dad ran out. And he saw his son and he gave him a huge hug. And he said, welcome home, my son. I love you so, so much. And he took him into the house and they had a big party and they had a lot of fun. But then there was the other son and he wasn't very happy. And his dad said, what's the matter? Are you not happy that your brother's home? And he said, no, dad, I'm not. Why, dad, have you thrown a big party for him? Why have you done all of this for him? Why are you hugging him and loving him so much? I'm the son who's always been here. I've always been with you, but you're showing him more love than me. And the dad said, son, no, I'm not showing him more love than you because I have that same amount of love for you. But I'm so pleased that my son has come home. I'm excited and I'm going to throw a party. I forgive him for everything that he's done. And Jesus told that story to a crowd of people. And they said, Jesus, what do you mean with that song? With that song, it wasn't a song, I'm sorry, that story. And Jesus says, well, that's how God is with us. Because actually we don't do things right all the time. Sometimes we're naughty and we do the wrong thing. But God loves us no matter how much or whatever we do. And when we choose to learn about Jesus, get to know him, eventually call him our friend, choose to follow him, when we do that, Jesus throws a bit of a party in heaven like that dad threw for his son. Why? Because Jesus and God want to be our friends and they'll take us, doesn't matter what we've done in our lives. In the same way that we learned the other day that Jesus loves everyone, children, adults, old, young, poor, rich, no matter where we were born in the world, no matter what we do, he loves us all. He also loves us no matter what we've done in our lives. And if we've done naughty things and been nasty, Jesus can forgive us for all of those things. And he wants to welcome us back and have a bit of a party with us. And now, we've got another craft, you've got some activities in your booklets. Pause me, go and grab your booklets, get on with some of your activities. Then press play and we'll have some more songs. So I'll see you guys in 10, 15 minutes. Have fun. Bye.
So, how'd you do? Did you crack the code? Did you do it quicker than 20 minutes? I'm sure you did. Malachi, my son, did it quicker than me and he said I was a little bit slow. But I hope you did it. I hope you had fun. That story, isn't it amazing? Even though that son had ignored his dad and basically said, Dad, I don't want anything to do with you. His dad still took him back. And that's a lot about God and us. Because he's our father and he loves us regardless. And he loves us no matter what we do. He loves us. Uh, in an amazing way that we can never fully understand uh, and it doesn't matter what we do. So uh, I hope you had fun today. Uh, come back tomorrow, um, see what shorts I'm in. I think I'm going to be re wearing some red and white check ones tomorrow. That's the plan. So I'm going to get rid of these Hawaii shorts and put them on. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.